Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP-0. We are joining our first launch of our Jupiter-3 mission. Uh, this was supposed to be a mid-course correction, but we've encountered the moon. <laughs> Seems uh, we can't get away from our little buddy. She is going to alter our course a little bit, but uh, not so much to the point to where we will not be encountering Jupiter, which is awesome. I just need to make some adjustments after the encounter so that I can see our telemetry at our encounter. But I figured while we're here, let's do a radio systems check and collect some of this neat science. Uh, most of these instruments we won't be able to use, but there's little things like the radio plasma wave scan that we've never used above the moon before. So that's a solid 13.5. And the orbital telescope, we've never used that either. That's another 9. I think that's going to be the only two we can legitimately cash in on. Oh no, gravity scan while high over the lunar seas. That's interesting. Oh, I didn't even check to see if it's actually giving us credit for that. Yeah, eight science. Nine science. Okay, good. We're going to not run the biological sample because we can't rerun it. Magnetometer scan. Another seven and a half science. That's actually fairly lucrative. I mean, in the nickel and dime sense of the word. I'm going to run the check again just to make sure that everything got collected. Um, yep, looks good. All right, and then, actually, I don't know why I had to come out of time warp to do this, but uh, I need time warp to do this. I need, yeah, Wee. goodbye moon. And that's just a beautiful shot, had I not left uh, instrumentation stabbing through our panels and through our rocket. <laughs> I should have fixed that, huh? Oh well. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, I'm sure that we are out of the moon's sphere of influence. We can retract these instruments so that they're not stabbing holes. in our. St no, I didn't want to log magnetometer data. I wanted to toggle magnetometer please and thank you toggle radio plasma wave please and thank you and good our electric charge is looking good we're still in the sun we should be overkill at this close to the sun okay um, awesome and now we can plot our telemetry for Jupiter or not because it won't let me focus view. Uh, damn it. Alright, how about set its target? Jupiter. Hello, Jupiter. Why does clicking on Saturn work? Ah, oh, there we go. Focus view. Focus view. Thank you. Alright, we want to come in way, way lower and closer than that. Uh, I don't know why I did that before I set up the node. That would have helped a bunch. 37 minutes. Shouldn't take me that long to plot a node. Thank you. But I will probably cut some of this out so that you guys don't have to watch me do this. Or just speed it up in time warp because I know exactly how entertaining fidgeting with nodes can be. All right, well, it's looking like nearly a kilometer per second to get us on a close encounter with Jupiter. Uh, I'm okay with this. So let's get our RCS system fired up. That will only take a second. Oh, we need to balance some tanks, don't we? All right, well, I'm going to set that aside and pin it. And we're gonna set that one aside and pin it. Those are our two We're gonna try to dump the fuel from the, from, I don't know, normal to our two radial tanks. The dogs are partying right behind me. 
as is obvious. Alright, I don't think it's going to fill these easily. I was hoping we could just get them both full. Ish. <laughs> this is just how they party. Okay, it looks like we're even. 216, oh, 219, 274, and 276. Dang it. Yeah, and that one's empty. How much do you hold? 240. Not enough to balance everything out. Ah, I wish there was, you know, tech fuel balancer, right? That's the next mod that I need to get. Uh, Alright, well, let's fill the center tank. Off of both of these two and hope that the balance is not that great. In the meantime, also, we can start to spin towards our node, which I don't know even where it would be. Mm -hmm. And when we start the burn, we'll start to refuel those tanks again. Where is this node? There it is. We yeah, we totally have a kilometer per second left in this. That's awesome. Perfect. All right, and let's warp to it. Only an hour away. Don't think it'll take us 11 minutes to make up a kilometer per second. This thing is so incredibly lightweight. It could be wrong, though. Alright, let's switch to docking mode, rotation, ullage, very stable, ignition. Oh, yeah, this burn's not even gonna take a whole minute. Damn it. But we need to save our ignitions. All right, 5.5 meters per second. Are we actually lower and closer? Yes, but our angle is way off. And that's what we need to fix. So, six meters per second. Two ignitions left in our AJ-10. I'm hoping we'll only need one more as uh, part of our slowdown to orbit at Jupiter. But we'll have to check the numbers there, and I'll do that as soon as I have this locked in. Okay, we're just totally not going to worry about that 0.3 meters per second. Where are the... Th oh yeah, I turned off the node. That's our course. That is our telemetry. We are going to come in wicked, wicked low. I don't know if that's atmospheric or not. I guess we'll find out the hard way. <laughs> why? Why is that 7,000 meters per second? Yes, zero. Zero is what we want. All right, we're going to turn off RCS because it's obviously screwing with us, causing things to go all cattywampus. Delay is 1.9 seconds. That should have happened already. One, one thousand, two, okay. Now then. <laughs>
We've got almost a kilometer per second just in the probe itself. Probably another 600 or so. Oh, was that an encounter? I would love to have an encounter with another body. Yeah, that's 794 puts us in orbit. Nope, okay. No. All right. So that's about the best we can do. If we leave it there, we're still very off plane on a lot of orbit. That's as good an orbit as we'll probably get, although realistically we're probably looking at something more like this, which is fine. Because that leaves me room to... Well, well, looks like both my ascending and descending nodes are very close, which means they're going to be very inefficient. But, if we could match planes... Oh, that's going to be a whole lot of Delta V, like a lot, a lot of Delta V. Uh, it's probably more than a thousand. I don't know if we'll have much to attempt that, but that would almost guarantee us on a long enough timeline, we're going to hit a moon or so. So that's going to be the plan, at least for now. Uh, I don't think it's going to work. I'm almost certain we're going to get into orbit, which is super amazing. I'm really excited about that. If we're going to put something in orbit of Jupiter, you know how hard that is? I mean, Juno did it. What else did, though? There's got to be at least one more, right? Galileo? Or was that just a flyby? Fill me in. Let me know. Anyway, sorry, short episode today, guys. Uh, tomorrow, more launches. More launches for Jupiter. I am excited. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. I'll see all of you later. Bye.